assalamu alaikum i am durish shiva here from school of economics today we will be learning about the changes in supply let us start what is the factors affecting the supply in previous lectures we were talk about the law of supply in detail assumptions and other things now we will move towards the next topic that what are the factors which may a cause of change in supply supply of a commodity influenced by a lot of factors soc is a short term for a supply of commodity lot of factors means there are some many factors there are many other factors which affect the supply the first one is price the next one is cost of production the third one is technique of production weather conditions political situation and many many other things fine now we will discuss the how many types of changes are occur in the supply there are two types the first one is extension and contraction the next one is rise and fall in the case of so you should remember that in the case of extension and contraction there is a movement along the supply curve and in the next case rise and fall case there will be a shifting of the curve fine this is the very easier way to clear the concept in your mind first we will talk about the extension and contraction of supply change in quantity of supply due to the change in the price of a commodity this is the known as the extension and contraction of the supply uh, this is the very similar to the law of supply in law of supply we also learn that price when price increases the supply increases and the when the price decreases the supply decreases means in the law of supply there is no other factor just price influences supply so in the case of extension and contraction there is no other factor just there is a factor is which is affecting the supply is price the first one is extension of supply in which in the extension of supply price increase leads towards the quantity supply increase the next one is contraction of supply price decreases leads towards the quantity supply decreases extension means to extend something contractions means to shrink something fine now we will discuss the table of these two terms by the one table we will understand the concept and the by the one diagram this is the price this is the supply price is increasing 5 to 10 10 to 15 15 to 20 if we reach from the down to up 25 20 15 10 5 in this trend there is an increasing trend in this trend there is a decreasing trend as known as here 5 to 100 10 to 200 15 to 300 20 to 400 20 to 400 decreasing trend now diagram we will put the will use on the graph on y axis we take a price on the x axis we take a quantity supplied we'll use put down i hope you people can make the diagram by your own self so by joining all these points corresponding with use of price and quantity we make a supply curve here we make a supply curve fine Now you people can understand that this is the contraction of supply, this is the extension of supply. Supply remains the same in either case. Quantity supply moves from one point to the another at the same supply curve. Movement along the supply curve, upward movement along the supply curve shows extension and the downward movement shows the contraction of the supply curve. You can take a screenshot for the understanding. Now we will move towards the other case shifting of the supply curve means shifting of the supply curve shows the rise and fall of the supply curve we know that when there is a change due to the some other factors this is the case of rise and fall of the supply curve when the supply change due to the other factors such as cost of production many many others then the change is called the rise and fall of the supply curve the question is when there is other factors change then what will happen to the supply schedule and the supply curve 
the first answer is a supply schedule change the second is supply curve shifts the first case is rise the second case is fall first case mein kya hoga other factors effect quantity supply increases other factors second case mein other factors effect quantity supply decreases first we talk about the rise of supply in the rise of supply there are two cases the first case is price remains the same but quantity increase this is the table you can take a screenshot by the understanding there is a price there is a supply this is our actual table now there is a column included supply schedule change 5 10 15 20 20 pehle supply ye thi ab supply increase ho gayi with the same price 50 75 100 125 now you can make a graph diagram in the diagram we can clearly sh show that there is a s not to s1 curve shifts to right shifts to right shows raising trend of supply fine so in the first case we can say that the supply curve shifts from right left to right the supply curve s s shifts to the right to s1 this type of shifting shows a raising trend of supply curve now we will move towards the second case possibility in second possibility the supply remains the same but price decreases we know that supply of a commodity remaining unchanged if the price of a commodity decreases it is also called the rise of supply since reduction in price causes the fall in quantity supply according to the law of supply but when the supply does not show any response to the change in price it means that there are some other factors that that restrict the supply to reduce this possibility can be explained with the help of schedule and the diagram this is the schedule and this is the diagram we can say that in the table that there is a price there is a supply there is a decrease price trend you can clearly show see that 10 15 20 25 30 i suggest to the, you that every table you make a screenshot and save then make it by yourself then joining the points then you people can clearly understand what i mean to say fine this table shows that price decreases 10 to 5 15 to 10 20 to 25 25 to 20 30 to 25 but supply remains the constant this this trend shows a rise of supply fine now we will make a diagram following the table we will make a diagram as not to s1 by joining all these factors by joining all these points price decreases supply same same wording and the same cases are repeating again and again price decreases supply remains constant supply curve shifts downwards to s0 to s1 this shows the raising trend of the supply curve now we will move towards the fall in supply case in the fall in supply there is two cases first case is price remains the same but supply decreases due to some other factors this possibility also can be explained by the table and the diagram there is also increase in this schedule that supply decreases from 50 to 20 75 to 50 100 to 75 125 to 100 150 to 125 we can make this point supply decreases and the price increases this trend shows the fall in supply fine you can make a diagram price constant supply decreases curve shifts to left left this shows the falling of supply curve fine second case in the second case supply remains the same and the price increases if the price of a commodity increases and the supply of a commodity remains unchanged it is also called the fall in supply since increase in price causes the increase in quantity according to the law of supply when the supplier does not show any response to the change in price it means that there are some other factors that restricting the supply to increase this possibility also can be explained with the help of schedule and diagram this is the schedule this is the diagram now you people can see that there is a adding up one column 
of increasing price price increase from 5 to 10 10 to 15 15 to 20 20 to 25 25 to 30 this is the diagram you people can make by yourself price increases supply constant as from uh, supply curve shift from ss to s1 shift from upward falling this trend shows a falling of supply curve this diagram what shows shows that with the increase in price there is no change in quantity supply of a commodity the supply curve shift from ss to s1 this type of shifting also shows the falling of supply curve fine now we will move towards the now shifters supply shifters that what are the factors affecting the supply these are there are some shifters i clearly want to tell you that there are some factors which very greatly affecting the supply the first one is change in technique of production we know that when the new technology is covered or the it discovered or the technique of production is improved the cost of production is reduced and the quantity supplied at the current price is increased so we can say that when the change in technique of production supply will be increased fine that's next one is means of transport means of transport means the supply may rise due to improved transport and communication facilities. This like introduction of air cargo and internet services. This like the TCS and many other services. These are the transport services which increase the supply. Fine. The next one is taxation. Some factors. One thing you should remember in mind that some factors affect the supply in an increasing way and some factors affecting the supply in a decreasing way in an easy way i am telling you that kuch aise factors hain jinke wajah se supply increase hogi kuch aise factors hain jinke wajah se supply decrease hogi so we cannot say that all factors affecting the price affecting the supply in an increasing trend and not all the factors affecting the price, supply in a decreasing trend so there is a mixture right the next one is taxation increase in taxes on commodity such as the sales tax may cause fall in supply if the government increased tax on cement quantity of cement supplied a previous price will fall sales tax and excise duties shift supply curve leftward right the next one is weather conditions unfavorable weather conditions badly affect the supply and the favorable weather conditions or timely rains cause increase in supply of many goods particularly particularly agriculture products are very dependent on the good weather conditions why right? the number the next one is war we know that war is a very critical situation all factories shut down and uh, we can say that the supplies became very uneasy trade routes became unsafe so the supply is negatively affected and became less industrial policy the next one is a favorable industrial policy which increase consciousness and facility of some industry may cause rise in supply of its products this industry ko favorable conditions milengi wo industry apni supply ko kya karegi increase kar legi the next one is price of substitute goods substitute products affect supply of a good for example supply of a wooden chairs is affected by the price of substitutes such as steels or plastic chairs so substitutes are very important the last one is numbers of producers Increasing number of producers of a commodity can cause rise in supply because there are number of um, firms are present in the market which may cause increase in the number of mobile phones firms result in more connection available at current rate of calls. So this is an example of phone calls but there is a many many examples are existing in the general market. So our topic is closed here. We will learn in the next lecture, very important topic, elasticity of supply, 
that how the supply is uh, sensitive and what is what are the measurement scale to measure the elasticity sensitivity responsiveness to check the responsiveness so stay tuned and if you face any difficulty if we face any um, any problem in any topic in any concept then you can ask me without hesitation i will hear i will be always available